Hello, Gladys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good fine, and you? I'm doing good. So, how was your day today? Well, it was well. Great. What was the best part about your day? How are you about the, 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 your your um? You were sick. Yeah, I'm getting better. I'm still at home. Um, I don't have to go back to the office until Monday, but um, they think that it maybe it was chinkunguya. Really? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm still, that's why I had a lot of pains and um, low energy and things like that. But I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So um, I should be okay back on Monday. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay. And Gladys, tell me, what was the best part about your day today? Well, the day I, do, I didn't do it a lot. Um, maybe uh, when I made the, I cooked the, the lunch. Mm -hmm. What did you make for lunch? Because I... Mm -hmm. Um, chicken with onions and and garlic. Okay, and and why was that the best part? Well, it's because I I have to um in, how do you say improvisar? Improvise. I have to impro improvise. Because I, I didn't have idea what can I uh, cook, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it tastes good. <laughs> okay. All right. That's the most important. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, hold, Jose Luis. Um, we're talking about food with Gladys. What is the best place for you um, that you think it's a great place to go and eat? My best place that I I like visit. Yeah. Um, maybe the church. Mm -hmm. No, to eat, Jose Luis. Ah, to eat. Yes. <laughs> There are a lot of places that I like to visit for to eat. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are many places that uh, they have not names, uh, are only uh, uh, are a uh, no sé cómo decir. Son pequeños negocios que no tienen nombre, pero... So say it in English, José Luis. You know how to say negocio. You know how to say pequeño. Say it in English. Uh, little business. Mm -hmm. That don't have a name. Okay. They did a very good food. What kind of food? Uh, hamburgers, tortas, tacos, <laughs> pizza. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, great. We're talking with Gladys and Jose Luis, as you can hear a little bit about food and places to visit. That is what we started with yesterday. Sorry, that's what we finished with yesterday. Yesterday, we were looking at a lot of vocabulary in describing places. Do you remember? Uh, what makes a place popular, what goes there, describing the decoration, the decor of the place, lighted, dark, uh, you know, is it bright, 
Is it noisy? Is it calm? What kind of place they are? So just like with Jose Luis, we are going to go ahead and ask our partners places that they enjoy to eat at. And what are those locations? Describe them. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Um, one of my favorite restaurants to go to is near my house. It's called Mauritas. And inside it has wooden tables where you can sit at like traditional pupuserias, but they don't sell pupusas. They're actually more of uh, meat and seafood. And they sell very nice uh, types of appetizers as well. They'll have like these little volcano uh, types of things where everything will be breaded um, as well as they have live music on the weekends. So on Friday, Saturday, you can usually go and they'll have a live person, some kind of usually like a little jazz kind of type of music or um, a Spanish singer that will do something soft, like sp soft Spanish music, nothing heavy or like rock and roll, things like that. Also, with inside the decorations, um, they actually have a removal roof. So in the middle of the center where they're, the person is performing, they, they can remove the roof and you can see the stars at night and they can open it up when it gets too hot or when it's a beautiful night out to see the stars. Whenever it's raining, they just close it or whenever they don't want to see outside or like in the daytime. And they sell very nice cocktails as well. They're not delicious cocktails, but they'll, they're fairly well. And the wait staff is usually pretty decent. I think the prices are reasonable. You can usually get a plate of around $6 for a little bit of meat, some sausage, uh, avocado, cheese, things like that. Or if you prefer seafood, you can also enjoy it. My wife really enjoys that. That's what you're going to do with your partner. You're going to give a complete decoration. You are not going to say, oh, the place is nice. The place is big, is good. No, you're going to give a complete description. You are explaining yourself to a tourist. You are responsible for making a report. You are the person that is going to sell this restaurant. So that's what you're going to do with your partner. Tell them about the favorite places that you like. Use the vocabulary you have. If you don't have it, try to use the ones that you do know. Remember, don't focus on what you don't know. Focus on what you do know. That is the key to speaking English. The key to speaking English is not, oh, como se dice esto en inglés? No, the key to speaking English is, ah, I can use this vocabulary because this is the one that I have and I continue. That's going to help you get your fluency. It's okay? Excellent. Let's do it. Gladys, you having problems? Gladys, are you okay? Can you connect? Good evening, Carlos. You, I don't. I don't know you. Try to connect. Accept the invitation.
Okay, so we're back. How did you feel? Did, were you able to express yourself? Did you have any difficulty explaining the restaurant or understanding your partners? Pero no todos hablan a la misma vez. No, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, Sandra. He said that he likes to eat in panda, uh, Chinese food. Okay, all right. Uh, and he, he said that um, he feel boring very fast, so... Yeah, that is a good place to visit for him, for her. For her. Who was who your partner, Sandra? Carlos. Carlos. So then Carlos is her or him? Him, sorry. Yeah, okay, no problem, no problem. All right. Anybody else? Yes. Go ahead, Luis. Hello. Yes. I, in my case, I like to eat uh, food, uh, seafood. Yeah, I like to go to tourist place in the, in the, uh, uh, for example, the Malecón in La Libertad or the, the Tunco. Yes, I like to eat a, 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 a good uh, a dishes like a, fish with rice with salad with maybe a beer or or soda and uh, i like i like to eat uh, with the with the food under the sand <laughs> yes i like to feel that under the, under the what Luis? the the food under, under the, the sand on the, the sand. sand what I is sand? what is sand Luis? Sand, arena. Ok, Luis. Me, me, me acaba de decir que te gusta comer comida debajo la arena. No. Put the, put the food under the sand. Ajá. Uh -huh. La comida debajo de la arena. What, what do you want to say, no, Luis? No, 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 no. I, I like, I like to, to describe the way like I like to eat. Yeah sit on a table uh -huh. but with my foot under the sand oh your 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 feet your feet yes oh uh, i'm sorry i i, I confused that word feet under the sand no problem i got you luis i got i i was thinking hey i i don't i don't understand luis for a moment but yes is that yeah. is feet the feet luis good all yeah. right Next. I made that little mistake. <laughs> no, no, no problem. But... No problem, Luis. The important is that we communicate. And that's why it's important to have vocabulary for adjectives. Now, remember, many times when you go to other places or other countries or you have family, they say, hey, what's a good place? They Or you want to talk to somebody. They want to know. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use, uh, we're going to expand our vocabulary. Here, the first one we're going to do is Knowledge check 2.2. We're going to do it together. So a health club. A health club is like a gym or a place to go work out. So how can a health club attract new people? It has to offer the last type of equipment. Great. Pronunciation, latest, latest types of equipment. Do you know what latest means? No. Latest, no. the latest means the most recent or the newest. The newest. So like the latest iPhone, the latest Samsung. This is the newest. That is what the meaning of latest. What about number two? What's number two? 
You need to hire a talented chef. A talented chef. Okay, great. Number three. It needs to have great music and light lighting. Lighting, lighting. Good. Number four. It's a good idea to offer desserts too. Okay, good. Number five. It has to provide useful information. Useful information, okay. And number six. Well, let me go like this so we can have the options. You need, you need to keep food with the, the latest style. Good. Latest styles. The latest styles. The latest styles. Excellent. Very good. Those are the answers. As you can see, all of the answers are correct. And that's the idea. The idea for describing. In this moment, we're gonna learn how to express your ideas better, how to express related to success, okay? So the idea is when very common question in interviews, in jobs, or when you meet someone new, what is the, the most common question, Gabriela, when you meet someone new? Of course is, what's your name? And then what else? Um... Imagine, what do you like? imagine you go to a job, you apply for a job, boom. Yeah. And they say, Gabriela, come to the interview, you go. What is the question number one that they ask you when you go to the interview? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. um, do you have um, experience? I mm -hmm. don't know, mm -hmm. what do you say? Yeah, do you have experience? Oh, where do you work um, before? Okay, also very good, yeah. And a lot of those questions have to do with you, right? About you, your job, your experience, like Gabriela mentioned. One of the questions that is very common is, tell me about yourself. This is the first. Ah, the first thing you go to the place, the first thing you go to a party and they say, hey, contame de ti. Tell me about yourself. And what do you do? What is your job? And, where do, and, and many people, many people, not only Salvadorians, many people, they don't know. That's the idea for today. Today, we're going to learn how to express yourself Clearly, describe yourself that you are the best to get the job. You go to the American embassy. Okay, contame de ti. Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to go to the U.S.? Boom, you have it. You want to go to Canada? Boom, you, is the typical question. Today, we're going to learn how to do it. For that, we need to learn the vocabulary from today's information. Here is the video on qualities for success a successful businessman, a successful entrepreneur, a successful worker. Today, we're going to learn. Gorgeous. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives that will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable. Gorgeous. Industrious. Muscular, slender, clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. First, are there any vocabulary words here that are not clear? Knowledgeable. The last two words. 
the last two words and knowledgeable. Knowledgeable is that you are intelligent, intelligent about the topic. So for example, if you are working in, in technology, you are knowledgeable, you know a lot about technology. If you work in a bank, uh, Agricola, Cusca Clan, you are knowledgeable, you know a lot about banking. This is knowledgeable. Informative. Informative is that you receive a lot of information from the article or the location. For example, a magazine, a newspaper, those are informative. You receive information from them. Well written, well written means that it is clear to understand. It has all of the information that you need. It, it, it is very simple or very easy to communicate with the person because it is well written, like in a report. It's not confusing. And affordable. Affordable. Affordable is that it's not expensive. Expensive, a lot of money. Affordable is the opposite. Affordable is that you can pay for it. That the price is good. Slender. Okay. Slender. Slender is the person or the synonym for skinny. The person not fat. This is slender. Like in a dress, it's an S, a small. Thank you. You're welcome. Are the other words okay? Clever. Clever. Clever is synonym of intelligent. Tau. I have a industry. Okay. Tough. Tough is difficult, hard. This is tough. And industrious. Industrious is like in San Juan Opico. You have Haynes Brand, you have Kimberly Clark. You have this area is industrious. Or going to Santa Ana, I, I don't remember the, the name, but there's an industrious area. Um, in the other direction. I think it's called Playland Park. Okay, or... about mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I think it, it's talking about the people, but it, it's about the company, right? It's the two, exactly. The vocabulary is to describe you, like Gabriela mentioned, about you and about your work experience. So when you go to the job, the first thing they want to know you and your work. So the vocabulary is to be able to describe the two. Oh, what industry do you work in? Oh, I work in telecommunications. I work in education. I work in finance. I work in, this is the industry. Or industrious is an, a sector where it produces a lot of those areas. Like in Soyapango. Soyapango has industrial sectors. Is that okay, Gladys? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. And great question, Clarice. The idea of the vocabulary is not only for describing me. Remember, the idea is for the two, me and my work experience, my job, because you want to get the money when you apply for the, a new position, when you apply for a new job. That is the idea of the vocabulary. Okay. So in this moment, we are going to okay. practice. We're going to practice with our partners. Very simple question. Okay. Oh, let's take a look. The question is going to be, tell me about yourself. What is the question? Tell me about tell yourself. Me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Exactly. And you have to think. Each tell me about yourself is different. Tell me about yourself is different in school than in business. Tell me about yourself is different in business than in a social event, like a party. Tell me about yourself is different in the social event than it is at applying for the university or going to get a scholarship. So in this moment, you have to think about yourself. 
what is the most important in tell me about yourself? The most important is what makes you special? What makes you different? Why you? So we're going to focus today, tell me about yourself, not personal, but tell me about yourself professionally right? Because that's the idea. The idea is we want to speak English for money. If not, most people never learn English. It's not a hobby. It's for money. So the idea is tell me about yourself professionally. As an example, me. Hi, my name is Edwin, and I have more than three decades or more than two decades teaching English. Uh, I have a lot of work experience. My first job was in 1994 when I started to work as a packer. From there, I grew up in different companies, becoming into the managerial positions. As well, is one of my favorite things to do is to learn more. That's why I have taken many different courses in different areas. I have specialized in some of them, and I have a degree in business administration. I think I'm a great person for the position of this job because that's it. Imagine you are thinking professionally, not personally. You are not looking for a girlfriend. You are not looking for a boyfriend. I don't care what your favorite color is. That is for you and your personal life. You go to the job interview, never you go to the job interview and say, ah, contame te, ah, mi color favorito. No. This is, this is in the school, not in the business. So in this moment, think about yourself professionally. Are you ready? Any questions before we go, before you go to the groups and practice? No. Okay. I, great. I can't wait to hear the presentation. You're going to have... Five minutes to prepare with your partner. You and your partner both speak. Five minutes, and then we're going to listen to your presentation. Okay. Now, why do I say this? Because in El Salvador, we have a big industry. And one of the industry is the WhatsApp and the messages. And many times they ask you to leave a voice message. So we're going to imagine you have to prepare it. You are going to prepare right now. Tell me about yourself. And you're going to come back in 45 seconds. You are going to tell me about yourself professionally. Five minutes to practice. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not.
Okay. Who is the first volunteer to tell me about yourself? The first volunteer? Teacher, elija usted, porque si no, nunca vamos a pasar. Ah, okay. Perfect. I got it. The first one is Gabriela Stephanie Cortez. Okay, and in my case, I I worked, and my first my first word uh, was uh, hostess in a restaurant, and then I worked like a customer service and in another enterprise, and. I, 10 years ago, um, worked in a, in a business family. Only that. Okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you check the WhatsApp, if you check the messages, in the chat, you can see the mistakes and how to correct them. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Gabriela, the number one that you have to work with, Gabriela, is more details and more fluency. The fluency is only speaking more and having more things to say about yourself, right? So practice it, we'll try it. Sandra Cecilia, tell us about yourself. I work before, but uh, not in the area that I I want. I like to work in this moment. Um, and nowadays I work in a, a ground lab. Um, I I think that I have good good option for job because I am sociable and. I, I try to uh, learn more about the things that I, I have to do. Um, uh, and I think that I am well written uh, with the client because it's a, a important thing for the job. And in the in a personal, um, I think that I like to work well. I don't like me that uh, bad result. So I uh, a good option for um, uh, uh, I want to know. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Sandra, you said that you are well written with customers. What does that mean? Uh, the um, is how the quality for the list well written. The quality? Double, double B. Well, oh, okay. I, I so, write. Put in, the chat, put in the chat, Sandra. I want to make sure. What... Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Sandra. I use a bad, bad way? Uh, yes, Sandra, the pronunciation, only the pronunciation, Sandra. It's well. Well. Written. Oh, written. Sí, vos me dijiste que estaba bien montada. Por lo okay. <laughs> you okay. I was, no. I sabía que no era eso. Don't, so, <laughs> thank you, Sandra. Well written. Well written. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. All right. Walter René, let's go for it. Hello. In my case, I am an accountant. In my, in my job, I check the report of the other partner. Uh, 
this report is about the taxes. And I check all the report and, and other information about the enterprises. This is my job. Okay, and so Walter, tell me about yourself. I'm sorry, sorry. Tell me about yourself. Uh, it's uh, for my profession. Or about you, Walter. I am accountant. Uh huh. Uh, my my job is uh, 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 in my job I check the report the report about the enterprises. Okay, Walter. Okay, let me let me help you, Walter. Si 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 estuviéramos en una entrevista de español eh, y fuera la misma pregunta, contame de ti. No me contaste nada de ti. Me contaste toda de lo que tú haces en tu trabajo. Pero en ningún momento yo aprendí dónde estudiaste, cuántos años de experiencia ah. tenés, qué es lo que te hace, qué es lo que te va a garantizar que a terminar este curso vos tenés el nivel de avanzado para aplicar para un puesto de trabajo con ese en inglés. Entonces, eso es lo que estamos buscando en este nivel. Antes okay. de estar avanzado, a traducir toda la información, a venderte, a conseguirte ese empleo, a empezar las entrevistas. So, good job, Walter. Me, me alegra que estás usando de, de tu trabajo, pero eso sería una pregunta después, ¿verdad? Al principio. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. for, for the job interview. Pero muy yes, bien, porque seguramente no, fui, no sos la única persona. Y ahorita todos están pensando, uy, tengo que hablar de mí, no de mi trabajo. Oh, okay. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Walter. Walter, y por eso mismo tú tenés el poder y tú elegís quién es el siguiente. Te voy a llamar Thanos hoy, porque vos así y pasa. ¿Quién sos, Thanos? ¿Quién elegís? Okay, okay. Luis Fernando. Uy, Luis Fernando, y así pasa. My, my degree is in indust indust eh, industrial engineering. I have uh, about 20 years in labor experience in apparel industries. Yes. And uh, I, I work in different places in charge, like uh, in uh, uh, engineering on the floor and the manager, the production manager and uh, like a uh, pull trims like uh, control uh, 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 about that about that time i i i've learned a lot about that industry yeah i i I, I have the experience, the enough experiences to make any charge in that industry, in apparel industry. Yes. Yes, very nice, very nice. I only, I'm going to help you a little bit with some of the vocabulary. Very good job, Luis. Is two words that are very important. You are a floor engineer, no engineering on the floor, floor engineer and not any charge any position you can do any position and cualquier puesto no any charge no cualquier carga uh -huh. this is the the idea that you want any position excellent excellent thank well, you no thank you thank you uh, one more one more any volunteer any volunteer gladys tenés cara de que querés ser voluntaria hey jose luis ¿va? le vas a ganar what, what? ¿Quién? eso all right gladys go for it <laughs> Hello, Gladys. <laughs> well, currently I'm an independent photographer. I love creating art and computing. I'm a studying programmer, programming, sorry. 
Um, I learned to listen to English with a TV show and I love the language. Now I want to take it uh, as an opportunity for a new job. Now I I am doing, I am studying programming because I can match two of the things I love to do, computing and That's not no, no, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I I, I love, I, I didn't hear the last part. You say I can match two of the things that I love to do, computing and? Yes, it's my internet. What was the last word, Gladys? Computer and? And creating. Creating, thank you. And create. And create, okay, okay. Great, excellent. So now we have the ideas a little bit better about tell me about yourself. Yes? Any questions? Any ideas? It's it's okay? It's okay. Excellent. Hey, Lillian, you want to volunteer? Thank you, Lillian. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you, Lillian. Lillian, please tell me about yourself. I, I, I want to say a comment about that. In some cases, we don't know how to explain press or we don't have a speech created to talk about ourselves mm -hmm. and this is a good exercise to to know how to do it thank you for that <laughs> thank you Lillian thank you Lillian I'm so happy I want to listen to your presentation Lillian hello Lillian okay tell me about hello. Oh, hey, Lillian are you okay, okay. You, are, you are driving or yeah. it's okay it's okay I, I am I uh, right to um this moment so I can talk. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um well I I studied marketing in the university and after that I studied a master degree in business administration and I love to to have um I I love to how do you say, be in contact with the people. And that's the reason why I have more than 10 years in experience of uh, sales and customer service area. I have developed uh, some strategies to companies, multicultural companies too. And I have been develop skill like solving problems and and attend different ways of negotiation with the company. Thank you, Lillian. Very nice. I like it. I like it. One small mistake I'd see in the chat is not two companies. You have created ideas for companies. For, for companies. Very nice, okay. very good, good, okay. great. Lillian, always remember the best thing to do is change your numbers to sound better. So you have 10 years experience? No, Lillian, you don't have 10 years experience. You have a decade of experience. A decade? Yeah, Dec a decade. It sounds better, the same. Tengo 10 años experience, tengo una década en la industria. The, it sounds it sounds a lot more powerful when you are trying to to do it. Okay. 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 Great Thank job. You. Excellent. All right. Now we can continue. Good exercise. I'm I'm glad. Maybe we can practice some more tomorrow for the other people. In this moment, now we're going to look at a conversations and ways of giving reasons. Okay. The reasons are why. Example in the job interview. Why do you want to leave? Why do you want to work in this company? Why do, the why, right? For example, Sandra Cecilia, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Yeah, why? Porque a él lo eligiste? 
¿Qué es lo que ofrece él? Que ningún otro hombre de los cinco millones de... Ah, uy, yeah, exactly, right? This is the why. The why is the same cuando vas a una empresa, a una empresa, a un negocio. Tengo tres millones de salvadoreños aplicando. ¿Por qué a ti te voy a elegir? The why. Eso es lo que vamos a ver en este momento en cuanto a negocios, no a personas. Ahorita es en negocio, porque tú quieres trabajar en esta empresa, porque tú te estás yendo de esa empresa, lo que tú, that's en esta industria, the why. We are ready? Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's watch the small video on giving reasons. Let's see. It's a it's a little short video. Okay. Let me try loading it again. Oh, maybe the platform is having a little bit of problem. It doesn't, uh-huh, it's not possible in este momento. All right, sorry, maybe it is gone for the moment, but we're gonna talk about the why now, okay? How do we use the why? Well, here we're gonna look at the vocabulary. In this case, we have the vocabulary here, because, since, because of, do to and the reason let's see if we can find here the ah yes here we have the vocabulary to explain why hello if you want to give reasons you may do so by using because since because of and some others Stay, and you will learn not only the meaning, but how to use them. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the Soul Club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or, there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four. Four plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well known, popular for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun, or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. 
Can you answer the following questions given reasons? Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so here we're looking at giving reasons. We saw many different vocabularies. It's okay the vocabulary because, because of, due to, since. Are those words clear or not clear? I have a, a doubt. Yes, please, please ask. Well, I I think sing is desde. Desde so for I confuse about. Uh huh. Yes. About also, time. Also, desde the time. Well, yes. I'm confused about that. Okay. Since I speak English, I can give English classes. What did you understand I said, Gladys? Since I speak English, I can give English classes. Well, porque aprend desde que aprendió a hablar inglés. No, desde. Well, no. No. Por el hecho de haber aprendido inglés, ahora puede dar clases. Ok. Más Muy o menos. Bien. ¿Por qué? Porque hablo inglés, puedo dar clases. This is since. Since es como el por qué. Es otra forma de decir because. Mm -hmm. oh. Gladys, oh. why do you study English? Why? Yeah. Because I, I like the language. Uh -huh. Because my my brother is in the United States and always talk to me in English. Okay. Is the because he, no. he was since, since my since, brother since my since, brother is in the United States. Since my brother is United States. I always talk to I, him in English. Yeah. It's okay, Gladys. He wants that 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 I that I learn the English. Okay, good. Yeah. But did you understand how to use since? He's pushing me. He's pushing me. You you have to learn more quickly and so that. Mm -hmm. But Gladys, did you understand how to use since? Now I understand. Oh, excellent, excellent. You. You're welcome. The idea of this is so you can use. Not only because, okay? Why does Gladys study English? Gladys study English to communicate with her brother. For communicating with her brother, um, she needs to speak English. Oh, uh, her. So all of these are like because, only different ways to express yourself. Not only because, because, because. So what are we going to do? We are going to prepare, you're going to imagine, on Monday. On, today is, let me see. Yes, today is Thursday. So on Monday, we are going to think about the answer to the questions. Why do you want to work here? Why do you want to work here? Imagine you go to the job, okay? You go to the position, to, to the company, okay? Why do you want to work here? The question, why should I hire you? Okay. Why did you quit your last job? Okay. The important is the questions to answer with why, not only because, due to, since, for, to all of these words to explain why. It's okay? Sandra, I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. I understand. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look. Let's make sure that we understand clearly. Um, Rosa Esmeralda, 
why are you studying English? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hey, Rosa. Um, I want to question. I. Why are you studying English, Rosa? I uh, I study in English because uh, I had to go um my fear. Uh, oh, if I study English because it is a working in call center. Uh, my my two goals is um I used to be in 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 a university uh uh licenciatura in in English a degree. A bachelor's degree. I'm about to degree. Okay, thank you, Rosa. So, Rosa, similar. La costumbre es contestar todo con vitales. Eso no vamos a hacer el lunes. El lunes vamos a usar el vocabulario para no solo hacer because, 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 because. Eso es el propósito de las preguntas que están en el chat. Preparen. Okay. El lunes les vamos a hacer las preguntas. Tell me about yourself. Así como que van a la entrevista. Tell me about yourself y las tres preguntas de why. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. En, en ese caso, have a great weekend. Relax, enjoy. And on Monday, we practice more. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.